what's up guys i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be doing a cube collection video of all the cubes i have at the beginning of 2018 so or middle or whatever but yeah so let's get into it so first cube uh, we have is this helicopter cube not sure what brand i think it's some efforts one uh, i haven't used this in a long time so i don't really know how to solve it but yeah that's that one uh, next one we got is this one. No idea what this cube is. I got it a couple years back. It's completely broken, as you can see. I'm missing a couple pieces. So, yeah. Yes. Done with that. Next cube we have up is my super small cube. It's a mini cube. It's I got this as a gift from one of my friends, and it turns pretty bad. But, yeah. Alright, so next cube is another small one. It's the Star Wars face cube thing. It turns incredibly bad. You can barely turn it. So, yeah, I can't. Next cube we have up is a Mefferts Gear Ball. And I used to play with this cube a lot, but not anymore. But it's still a nice cube to play with. This has pretty nice turning. No, I'm just, yeah, there we go. Uh, next cube is my gear cube. Um, just like the gear ball, really easy to solve. Um, yeah, I don't really use it that much though. So, next cube we have up is my pie cube, and this cube is extremely broken. Okay, there. Okay, it just fell all apart right there. But yeah, you can see how broken it is. It barely works. But yeah, that's that. So just slide this out of the way. Next cube is my Mefferts uh, Ghost Cube. I got this a while back. It took me forever to solve. And eventually I just looked up a video on how to solve it because I could not do this. And it has really weird turning. So you gotta like line it up. Yeah. You know what I mean. Just, yeah, I can't turn it right now. But yeah, that's the gear cube. The cube we have up is my Mofang G uh, 5x5. Has pretty nice turning. Uh, I use this is probably my main because I don't have any five by fives. So, yeah, very nice turning, and yeah. Ouch. Next we have up is my six by six. Now I'm not entirely sure what brand this is. I think that might be Moyu, maybe. Um, yeah, but has very nice turning. Um. Probably my best time with this was I think around like four minutes, five minutes, because I'm not too good with six by sixes. Or, I don't know. I haven't timed myself. I'm just taking an estimate. But yeah, I'm probably a lot longer though. But yeah, it has great turning. Next cube we have up is my Rubik's two by two. Now this is terrible. This turns extremely bad. Uh, you can barely do any algorithms on here. Um, corner cutting is like if you can see that little and can't even turn it when well, you can but it's really hard next one we have up is my 4x4 four four. and this is my main 4x4 four four. Uh, it turns really well my best time with this is two uh two minutes and 15 seconds so yeah i think that's pretty good for me since i'm not too good with them next cube we have up is my rubik snake now this is probably my easiest cube or cube or puzzle um because it's it's really easy to solve you just have to turn the pieces in order i figured this out by myself it took me about like maybe two hours or not even two hours but yeah it's really easy to solve next cube we have is my cyclone boys 2x2 two two. this is my main 2x2 two two. um this is probably my backup since this is my only other 2x2 two two. but yeah this is the best 2x2 two two i have Turns really well, but it's very loud. But, yeah. There's that. Now we have my Mega Minx. Um, doesn't turn too well. It's kind of old. Oh, whoops. Um, kind of old. You can barely, if you can see that right there, you can barely corner cut with it. I'm getting a new one, so I'll be doing an unboxing video on that. Um, so yeah. My Mega Minx. Next we have is my um, 2x2 Pyraminx. Uh, Shapeshift one. 
I am not good with these. I've barely ever played with it. But yeah, it's, it's really fun to use sometimes because like I don't know how to really solve it because it just mess around with it all the time. See, I just screwed it up even more. Oh, I made a cool pattern. So yeah. Next cube we have is my I think this is my master pyraminx or something. Um, yeah. Uh, I cannot solve this. I have never really tried or attempted to solve this because it's just pretty big. Um, the turning is nice. It's just like I always end up turning something else. Like this happens a lot. Where it almost pops out. But yeah. Next here we have is my um, Moyu Along V2. Um, very nice. Um, this used to be my main for a while back. Until I got my other cubes. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a little quick algorithm here. T perm. Okay, yeah. But it has very nice turning. Even if it's like kinda old, but it's pretty nice. Next cube we have up is another 3x3. Three three. Uh this was probably one of my first 3x3s. Three three uh I don't even know what this is called. It's so old. Um yeah. I've this was only my main for about a month until I got this one. But yes, yeah, pretty nice. Has sort of a crunchy feel to it. But yeah, it's not the best cube. The cube we have is another 3x3. Um, not sure entirely what brand this is. Like, a lot of cubes on this list. But yeah, um, just like the other one, crunchy feeling. Not too good of turning. So it's just locked up right there. Corner cutting. Not too good. Um, yeah, but that's this one. Next we have my Rubik's um, 3x3, and my brother super glued this cube, if you can, yeah, right here, he super glued it as a prank, and then my friend also, his dog clawed it, if you can see the claw marks all around the cube, it's kind of destroyed, but, uh, okay, whoops, no, um, actually turns pretty nice, I would say, I mean, for a Rubik's fan, it's pretty nice, but not, not super good. Yeah. Next cube we have is another Moyu Along V2. Um, I got two of these because this one, I don't know, I just got two of these because I felt like it. Um, yeah. This one's much better than the other one. It's much better than this one. Uh, probably one of my best 3x3s. It's really smooth. I like that. So, yeah. Next cube we have is my uh, Gans 356 Air, and this used to be my main until I got another one like this, and then I got another one. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I know this is. Oh, okay, no, this is my Gans Air Air SM. My bad. This is my SM right here. This is my best cube. Very smooth. So yeah, I love this one. This is what I mean right now. Next cube is a gold uh, mirror cube. Um, I don't really use this one anymore. I just find it like kind of annoying to solve because like all the pieces, like these ones are all like the same, and then yeah, they're all like I don't know. They all just like look the same to me. But yeah, it's, it's fun to cube play with. Um, it's kind of a challenge, but not really in the same way. But yeah, that's the ghost cube. Next we have my pyraminx. Um, this one turns very badly. It's got magnets in it. Yeah. Magnets right... Yeah, we can see them. Those are the magnets. Um. Yeah. Turns pretty bad. But this is not my main anymore. I have another one. Here... Here we have my, um... Uh, Chi, uh... Chi, uh, Cube, uh, Pyraminx. This is my best Pyraminx of my main right now. Uh, yeah, it turns incredibly nice. Has a very smooth feeling. The magnets aren't too strong, so not too good with these. So, no. but yeah, still good cube. Next cube we have is my uh, Moyu Skube. This one is my main. I mean, I don't really use skews, but if I did, this is the one I'd use. But yeah, yeah, that's that one. Next cube we have is another skube. This one's an older version of a cube. Not sure which one it is, but yeah. Um, kind of crunchy. Uh, it's kind of stiff, you know. 
you know, I don't, I don't really like this one because it's, it doesn't really work that well. Yeah, there we go. Next cube we have is my GAN 356 Air. Now, this is my backup main. Um, turns really nice. Better than this one, but this one I need to loop up. Um, this one is really nice. It's very smooth. Kind of loud, though. Um, yeah, I would recommend this cube if you're starting out or your intermediate solver. But, yeah. Next up, we have my Killaminx. No, it's just like a 2x2, two two, except, well, it's Megaminx, Killaminx. Um, has 12 sides. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Turning's decent. Oh, I think I just screwed it up. No, there we go, alright. But yeah, that's my Killaminx. Now we have another GAN C56 Air. Um, I bought two of these because the one, this one was kind of wearing out. So, like, yeah. But then I got um, my SM right here. Uh, so, yeah. This was really good. And, yeah. Next, we have a Rubik's Snake. And this one turns so bad. It's very clicky, and I can't even, like, pull it apart, which I would usually be able to do. But, like, yeah. This one's really bad. I'm just gonna try to get it back. Oh my god, alright. There we go. So that's my Ruby Snake. Now we have uh, Mefford's, Mefford's Cube Extreme. Um, this one's really fun. I got it as a gift from my friend. And yeah, I really love playing with this one because you have to get all the sides and you have to get all the smaller edges inside of here. And so, like, if you solve it, you'll see it makes like a triangle right here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Think about it, it doesn't have too great of turning. But the magnets help it stay in place. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Next up, we have my Shang Shao 4x4. It turns decently, locks up a lot. Yeah. Um, see that? Yeah. So basically, this was my main before I got my other 4x4. And it's very, very loud. As you can probably hear. Yeah, I don't, I don't use this cube anymore. Because it always locks up and it's very loud. Next up, we have my, um, X cube, I'm pretty sure, this, or cross cube, one of them. But yeah, um, this cube took me forever to solve. So I got it at a store a while back, and it's pretty fun to play with. I don't really use it that much because like it's really bad turning, as you can see. But yeah, it's a really fun cube to play with. I love that design of it and how you can like just like so you can turn all these. You can make a cool checkerboard pattern with it. Which, yeah, I'm not gonna do it too hard but yeah oh uh, my last cube is you can barely see this on here but it's my giant uh rubik's three by three i have it in checkerboard pattern but oh yeah it lights up so that's pretty cool i'm just gonna get back real quick sorry if you can't see much of this cube it's pretty big one second but here we go Nope, never mind. I think it has to charge or something. Yeah, it's not turning on. Wait. Nope. Alright. Yeah. But I can't turn it on, but it, uh, it's got lights inside, so it like light up if you turn it on. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. Those are all my cubes for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys want me to rev review more cubes, um, just let me know. Like, comment. And subscribe, tell your friends, everything. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching. See you guys later.